Hey guys, make sure to stand till the end. We'll talk about common mistake people make when replacing fuses, relays that can cost you quite a bit of money, guys, and waste of time as well. Stay with us, we'll explain what we're talking about. Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair, guys. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a BMW, guys. 5 Series, Generation E60, E61. If you have, guys, uh, that 5 Series, that's from year 2003 to year 2010. You need to find where the fuse for the diesel fuel uh, heater is located. Which fuse you need to check. Where you can buy cheap fuses, parts, tools for your BMW or any car. That way you do not waste your money. All that will be shared in this video today. In addition, we will talk why it's super important to test fuses and relays. Make sure to stay tuned and we'll share all that absolutely free with you today. So before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us guys. If you have BMW 60, 61, that generation 5 series, we'll be making a video about every possible fuse and relay. Why? To save you time and money. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your fuel pump fuse blows out. What do you need to do? Okay, it takes forever to find where it's located. It's so complicated, you may have even multiple fuses. And all you have to do, come to our channel, search for it, and you'll be able to find that video, watch it. And in less than two minutes, you replace the fuses, you're back on the Road. Something else guys, every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make guys at least two to three hundred free repair videos. We take them completely apart, we show you guys how to fix pretty much anything. Engines, transmissions, why we do that? Because our mission to shop is to save you money guys. We have more than 11,000 videos on our channels that can save you quite a bit of money. Now, uh, if you guys need to buy parts to use for your BMW or any car, we'll share the link in the description of the video below where you can get them from at a really good price, quick shipping, that way you do not waste your money. And if you need to buy cheap fuses, relays, anything for your BMW, links will be shared as well. So let's continue now. So what we have right here guys, we're going to demonstrate on a 2008 BMW 5 Series, but even if you have before or after uh, facelift, it will work for both. You guys have up to three different fuse boxes in this car, but we'll be working just one of them and it's easy to get to. Open the passenger side, open the glove box. Once you open the glove box, you have on the back side two turny black knobs. You remove the cover and behind the glove box you have that fuse box known as a glove box fuse box before we guys continue let's explain why it's important to test fuses and relays so it is super important guys to always test fuses and relays and something else as well common mistakes people make sometimes you may think that a fuse is good or uh, uh, you cannot actually see if the fuse is clearly burned and in that case guys you may need uh, you may put the fuse back together uh, and you may end up spending money and time on parts you don't need and uh, all we had to do is just test the fuse so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how to test the fuse it takes only a few seconds to find out for sure if it's good or bad the same thing for relays guys okay uh, some of those could be really expensive on cars so we'll put a link in the description of the video below how you can test relays and for some certain fuses guys it's important to disconnect the car battery when removing them otherwise you can burn the electronics and uh, for instance working on airbags fuses or anything like that you need to wait at least one hour after disconnecting the car battery and if you're not qualified and certified to work on airbag system i'll never recommend to do that guys uh, but when disconnecting the car battery guys okay common mistake people make it's important to know which battery terminal you disconnect reconnect first if you do it the wrong way you can burn electronics modules how we know about that we burn uh, before the uh, traction control module on bmw that cost is two thousand dollars guys so uh, we'll put a link in the description of the video below which battery terminal to disconnect first check it out for your convenience so now let's explain what we have here specifically guys which fuse you need to check for the diesel fuel heater now depending on the year model configuration all that stuff some of you may have that fuse some of you may not we have uh, a fuse box right here that we'll be demonstrating on that didn't come with that option but we'll still explain where that fuse is located if you come in that row of fuses here from one through nine okay the first fuse is for the traction control that second fuse right here that's the fuse guys that you have if you have a diesel bmw with a diesel fuel heater that fuse number two will be the one that you will need to check hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching see you next time